The NSE All Share Index uh, recorded a marginal dip at the end of trading yesterday, declining by 0.02% to close at 33,251 points, compared with the depreciation. Uh, compared with the depreciation of 0.2% recorded last Friday. Now, of course, the year-to-date return currently stands at 18.42%. The fall in the index uh, was as a result of losses recorded in the share prices of Dangote Sugar, Access Bank, ETI, uh, GT Bank, and Guinness. Meanwhile, the market capitalization also recorded a, a marginal loss uh, in value to close at 10.64 trillion naira compared with a, a depreciation of 0.24% recorded last Friday to close at 10,641 trillion. Now a look at how the markets uh, played out yesterday, but before we do that, I've also got the figures for the Naira, which went up by 0.79% uh, to close at, uh, at 157.47. Uh, we, we've also now got in this, um, joining us uh, from the Stambic IBCC IBTC trading floor, Dolakwa Akoni, who is an analyst at Stanbic IBTC Stockbrokers. Hello, Dolakwa. Thanks for joining us on the show. Good morning, Dede. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Uh, now, I'd like to start with the uh, markets. It opened flat yesterday uh, due to, uh, of course, persistent pressure on Dangote cement. We saw some profit taking start to ease across some key sectors. Can we expect to see a mild, close, uh, mild green close in today's session? Yeah, I actually think so. Uh, if you look at the, how the trading session has been um, for the past two, three trading sessions, um, you will see market almost losing a bit above one percent. But by the time Dangote Cement is taking up to around 147, 146 levels, you see market close almost flat. So I think holding all the um, other things constant today, market might close on positive. Okay, and how would you advise an investor to play the market as a result? Um, I think um, the cautious buying sentiment should continue, really. Um, as much as you're trying to buy stocks and to, to take advantage of um, repositioning against the full year result, be cautious about pricing. That, that should still continue. Okay, now I'd like to uh, you know, take a look at some of the performances of the acquiring banks. We've seen an average of approximately 130% gain since transaction date. What are your expectations for the performance of acquiring banks, especially following the release of company results that we're uh, expected to see? Okay, if I take Unity Bank and Women Bank specifically in that space, I would say that uh, we've seen a lot of speculative activities um, going on in that um, space. So investors should still be aware, they should still be cautious. And um, though there was information about Women Bank trying to raise some funds, if that is anything to come by, it's still a stock that you might want to look at, especially that it has lost some points in recent days. But Unity Bank, people should still be, be cautious because it's more of speculation going, that, going on there. I was actually going to you know, ask about Unity Bank, so I'm glad that you mentioned that. Uh, we've seen that stock lead market volumes uh, you know, uh, yesterday and uh, I, I believe the close of last week as well. And over the past five weeks, we've seen a 90% price appreciation. Do you feel that that stock has any chance to extend upward in the coming sessions? Um, I think um, it would dip a little bit and at some point we expect some... Um um, some interest to spur again into it and um, for investors to price it higher you know from where it is right now so what I think investors are actually waiting for is um, to see how low it can go before they try to position themselves in that stock again so I foresee um, in the short term uh, it might lose point but in the medium term you might it might be a stock that you want to look at especially on the back of uh, the generally in the banking sector that CBN has done a lot, a lot of work um, the quality of the asset I be better and management structure is also something to you know to commend. So I think um, investors should be a bit cautious, but in the long term, but fine, you can reposition in that space. Okay, uh, we saw yesterday uh, top gainers. We saw Baco, Fidelity Bank, Wapik, um, BOC Gas, and um, I just want to ask you, what are your stock recommendations for the week? Uh, for this week, um, we still like Dangote Cement, though it has rallied a bit, but it's still a stock that you can position in the medium and in long term. In the banking space, we like Zenit Bank, we like First Bank, and we like Access Bank. So those are the stocks that we feel in the medium term they will return higher than where they are right now. 